Good afternoon, I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Tuesday afternoon. Page County residents have one last chance to gain insight on the upcoming jail bond issue referendum. Clarinda's lead recreation center is the site of the final public meeting Wednesday at 6 p.m. Page County Sheriff Lyle Palmer and representatives of the Samuels Group host the meeting to outline the $16.7 million bond issue for a new jail facility and discuss issues with the 87-year-old facility. Plans call for the proposed 19,700-square-foot facility to be constructed on land located on the south side of Clarinda, just off U.S. Highway 71, near the S.C. Davison Farm. In an interview with KMA News, Palmer stresses the county isn't constructing an elaborate facility, rather a bare-bones structure that meets state code and nothing more. The new facility, if it is, the planning is it will be very plain. It will not have a lot of things that maybe some other jails have. We'll meet the code requirements and we will make it safe. It will be secure and it will be efficient. There's nothing elaborate in this new facility, in the planning of this new facility. Though the presidential races in January's Iowa presidential caucus has garnered national attention, one KMA land political observer says off-year elections shouldn't be overlooked. Lennox native O.K. Henderson is news director at Radio Iowa and moderator of the weekly Iowa PBS program, Iowa Press. Speaking on KMA's morning line program this morning, Henderson says the November 7th citywide and school board elections are extremely important to local government. KMA News continues its Meet the Candidates series featuring candidates running in key races in those November 7th citywide and school board elections. Today's segment features the first of four challengers running in the Glenwood School Board race, Kelly Stewart. That story is online at kmaland.com and plans to rezone a block of Clarinda recently cleared its first major hurdle. By a four to nothing vote, the Clarinda City Council approved the first reading of a zoning ordinance amendment to rezone a one block area between East Garfield Street and East Logan Street between South 13th Street and South 12th Street. KMA on track weather, sunny this afternoon, highs of the upper 30s. Tonight, mostly clear, those in the upper teens. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have yourself a good rest of your Tuesday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.